Hi guys, this is Grivoli with another product review and today we are going to look at something super cool. The Superior Labor Leather Pen Roll. I got mine from Nomado Store. Um, if you want to check it out, it's uh, nomadostore.com. Uh, came with a little thank you card here in their red corporate colors. Uh, the pen roll came in this nice nice i mean it's just a it's just a paper bag but like the stamp on it is really nice this superior labor stamp on here i like it even so much i took a picture of that and that now serves as my mobile phone and uh, macbook wallpaper background because i just thought looks super cool uh, uh that's just weird me and then you had a little label here attached to the pen roll saying the superior label letters and co we take pride in craftsmanship and never skimp on time and effort www.superiorlabor.jp superior labor for those who don't know it is a small leather prefecture in japan just google them you'll find a lot of information about them they just make really, really excellent and well thought through uh, leather products. The pen roll is not exactly inexpensive. It costs 114 euro, I believe, at Nomado store, which is a good price for it. Um, but well, it's leather. Uh, I'll go through it in a minute. And I, I believe that thing uh, like that holds for a lifetime. It even will outlast a lifetime. So... Um, yeah, it's something you buy once in your life, so I think it's definitely worth it. Um, I got the dark brown version here. Uh, it also comes in mid-brown slash cognac and in a natural leather finish or in natural leather, uncolored, which is then beige -ish. And I think recently they also released it in black, uh, as far as I could see. Um, you just, you know, it's a pen roll opens up like this, has a leather flap to provide your writing instruments. And I, I thought in the course of this review, because there's not so much to say about the pen roll itself, I thought I'll combine that with a what's in my pen roll video, because like I got like a handful of requests of people showing what and why I carry in my pen roll. So I thought I'll combine the review of the pen roll with what I have in my pen roll. Makes sense, right? So, well, yeah, it's a pen roll with a flap. I, I gotta say that I was never really a pen roll guy. I was always and still do, where do I have my pen case? Here, carry my pens in pen cases like that, where they really isolate it, separate it, can't touch each other or touch upon upon each other and scratch each other. Uh, this is uh, happens to be the Paper Republic one, the Etui Stylo that I also still have to review and that I really like. But uh, I never really trusted pen rolls with my pens because of scratching issues. But with that pen roll here and that those tiny compartments where just two pens can touch onto each other and then you close the flap and when you roll it, that flap will make sure that the pens can now not touch upon each other. I really came to like pen rolls, I gotta say, and I especially like that one here. The pen roll then closes with this leather strip that sort of looks like a belt and has a, a, a brass closure here. Uh, says the superior labor on here. Neat little Design detail, as said, superior labor, really with an eye for detail. That is a very, very solid brass buckle that really feels very sturdy. Can't see that breaking at any point in time. Then you just wrap it. I mean, if you treat it with a little bit caution, I mean, you could probably break it, but I don't think it's going to happen. And then you can just wrap it up like this, which I actually never do. Closing it like that, it's just too much effort for me to close that thing like that all the time. I only do that when I'm flying, when I'm traveling somewhere and I know I won't be opening up the pen roll for uh, like half a day or so. But in daily use, when I'm always using the pen roll and stuff, I never do that. You know, I just have it, I use my things, close the flap, roll it up, do it like this and off it goes into my backpack. Works perfectly fine for me like this. It's a slightly chunkier pen roll due to the way um, 
how it wraps. It was disturbing me a little bit personally in the beginning that in, I'm a little bit perfectionist at times. So I didn't really like that the leather doesn't really, you know, sort of, you know, that thing always pops out and stuff like that, that it doesn't really close evenly. But in the meanwhile, I came to appreciate Wabi Sabi's Japanese ride, appreciating the small imperfections. In the meanwhile, I do really like that little imperfection and uh, you hear it does make some noise when you close it. I'm overdoing it a little bit right now just for you to hear it. Normally I wouldn't wrap it like that, normally I would wrap it like that. So you don't hear it as much. But you get my point, that was worse in the beginning, it got better now, I have the pen roll in use I think for like three months or so right now, or four months, and I think as one uses the pen roll and plays around with it, puts it into the backpack, takes it out of the backpack, the leather sort of gets smoother, gets softer and stuff like that. And then I do think that that noise also does stop. But it's just something that I wanted to point out to you. This flap inside natural leather, that is not very soft. It does feel rough to the hands, but I mean, there is no problem at all with that being like scratching your pens or something like that. It's just not a silky smooth finish, but it's very nice to the touch. It's, it's really all right. Has a superior labor made in Japan stamp up here is stitched like that. See the stitching like this from the other side. Maybe we try to turn the pen roll around as well so you see what it looks like from the other side. That's what the pen roll looks like from the other side. Very nice. Yes, and then you have a, a couple of a couple of compartments here, one, two, three, four to be precise. Uh, and I'll now let me show you this little sticker here, the superior labor. We take pride in craftsmanship and I think that's the same thing that it actually said on that cardboard label that I read for you before. Um, let me talk about those compartments for a minute. Now, I think that's a pretty smart design um, that I got used to, but it would not be my first preference probably. I would find it super cool if they would offer two versions maybe of that pen roll. One with that white compartment here, which I totally get why they offer that. And, but one probably um, where they would also split up that compartment here into two smaller compartments like that. Because for me personally, I don't care for art supplies and stuff like that. I totally get that you might want to have one bigger compartment because of course you can um, stuff a, uh, I don't have a pocket notebook around right now, but it, that exactly fits like the a Moleskine Kahir A6 pocket notebook, for instance. Some people that do urban sketching or something like that, they do like to carry a small uh, watercolor kit. I actually made myself a small uh, travel watercolor kit here uh, as well, which I don't use that much because I'm not the urban sketcher. But essentially, right, you can carry your uh, travel watercolor kit with you. You can put an A6 pocket notebook in here. Um, you can put brushes in here. Some people may want to carry uh, scissors with them or whatsoever. So for all those reasons, it might make sense to have a slightly larger compartment. And of course, you don't have to roll the pen roll as I do. I see also some people, they just fold it in the middle like that, which is something that you can also do. Or you fold it like this three times, whatever. You can roll it, fold it. So I do see how that makes sense. But for me personally, I'm a writer. Um, I mostly carry pens. And for me, it would roll up tighter and more nicely if that would also be a divided compartment. Um, you see that makes such some kind of a surface like that here, which prevents it from actually rolling in the same angle like that here. That would roll nicely, more nice and a little bit tighter if that would be the case. But well, anyway, it's it's not like that. Maybe Superior Labor watches my review and makes the second version of it. <laughs> we shall see. 
But anyway, it's not a deal breaker. It still is a great a pen roll. And uh, so what do I carry in my pen roll? Well, as said, I'm a bullet journaler, journaler, oh, journalist, journaler, journalist, I don't know, and a writer. So I mostly do carry pens. I always carry with me three fountain pens, a rollerball for those cases in which a fountain pen is inconvenient, a highlighter, a mechanical pencil, a wood case pencil, a pen 68, a stab both stabilos, a point 88, a red pen, a sharpener, and a paper clip. Three fountain pens, you know, you can clip them on like here or just slide them in like that. Doesn't really matter actually. That leather here is pretty thin. It's not that thick. Um, still protects your pens perfectly, but allows for very easy clipping pens onto it. So I have three fountain pens with me as said. I do normally swap them out because I want to have three different colors with me. Um, this one here is right now ink with an orange. This here is a green and that is a blue ink in here. Then as said, I always have either a rollerball, um, that's the Parker Urban here, or a ballpoint with me, excuse me the blasphemy, but um, not always is it convenient to write with a fountain pen. For those cases, as said, I carry a ballpoint. Then since I'm a writer and reader, I've just handed in my PhD. I was studying until not long time ago. I always need a highlighter for reading papers and I'm also like a great lover of reading books. So I always need a highlighter with me. Um, I then normally write only with fountain pens and pencils. That's normally it. Those are my preferred writing instruments. So I do have my beloved Blackwing 602 with me. That point is protected by a eyeliner makeup cap that I borrowed from my wife, which is excellent in protecting the tip of the pencil. And I also do have a um, rubber with me. Uh, no, not rubber, eraser, of course, it's an eraser. I do have an eraser like that with me. Then I, for the bullet journaling, I do my headlines normally with a pen 68. And also it's a felt tip pen that lays down a broader line. And I also do find it convenient if I want to highlight something or I just want to write something in a little bit thicker, just one, one thing on a sticky note or something like that. An extra fine uh, fountain pen is not uh, always the best for for just, you know, writing on a, on a sticky note or something like that. So I find it's convenient to have a highlighter, a, a, a broader felt tip pen with you, also for headlines, as said in my bullet journal. Then I prefer always to have a fine liner with me. That's a Stabilo Point 88, a black, oh, the camera doesn't really pick the tip up, now you see it. A black fine liner that I use to write my outlines in my bullet journal, such as the future log and the weekly log and stuff. I then write the contents with fountain pens, but the outline, the monthly plan, the weekly plan and stuff, I do with a um, fine liner. I do then have always a mechanical pencil with me, um, just because, and that's my favorite mechanical pencil, the uh, Faber-Castell TK Fine. I have that one since my school days since 15 years or almost 20 years even. And I really do love that one. I don't even know if they still sell it. It's an excellent, uh, an, an excellent mechanical pencil that does something like that here so that your tip is actually protected. Very nice, put it back in like this here. Very wonderful. So I have a mechanical pencil in case that one is not pointy enough anymore. Then I have a red Gale writer with me because you always uh, need a red pen in order to highlight something, to have a highlighting color. I then always also clip one paper clip here onto the pen roll. So I have a paper clip with me in case I wanna attach some pages to each other. And then I have a small sack in here and that sack does contain a brush sharpener so that I can sharpen my Blackwing pencil. Yeah, that's what I carry in my pen roll. That was the video review of the Superior Labor pen roll. I thank Nomado Store once again for assisting me with this product so that I could film this review here for you. I hope the review was helpful and I'll see you at the next review. Bye bye.